what are we talking about? Yeah, it, it's a very <laughs> not Erica right. really anymore. It, it's 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 a artist formerly known as Erica. Okay, <laughs> uh, lots Just of tropical a symbol. moisture. Yeah, that's right. We're going to throw a symbol up there tonight <laughs> at 10 and 11. Miko, you got better than two and a half inches of rain. Mainly this morning, I was tracking it before the sun even rose. Holly Hill, uh, better than uh, one and a half. Same thing, Palm Bay. Patrick Air Force Base, about uh, 1.3 inches. And Oviedo checking in more than an inch of rainfall today. Flood watches, by the way, still posted across most of central Florida, with the exception of Sumter County, though you'll get added later on. Uh, and that continues through tomorrow evening. Now, mostly cloudy skies observed. At this hour across town, 82 degrees in Orlando, but because we've got so much moisture in place, the feels like temperature is 88. Now, here's a look at our first alert Doppler radar. Nothing strong, nothing severe, but we are tracking some new guys bubbling up here uh, around Lake County. Now, some showers continuing up here around Bellevue and Ocala, but Leesburg uh, back over toward Umatilla. Watching these guys are going to continue to lift up to the north toward Fruitland Park. A few new sprinkles up here around, uh, uh, say, the uh, Deland, Orange City, DeBerry area. There's this guy leaving. Eustis, a couple of showers moving away from Daytona Beach, and even over here around the inlet, there's uh, New Smyrna Beach, Ponce Inlet, and Edgewater. Those guys all moving away, including Sam Sula, back over to Lake Ashby. In South Florida, plenty of moisture. Where Stephanie's report was uh, down in Palm Beach, and that activity lifts into our area. Here's Mico, Floridana Beach, and even this could be moving up toward Patrick Air Force Base over the next few minutes' time. Lots of rain the last couple of days. Both Orlando and Melbourne, more than four inches of rain in. In the green, but would you believe it? Daytona Beach still in the negative. We are nearly two inches of rain behind for the year. Here's a look at that bigger perspective. There's the water vapor shot of that upper level low and that funnel of moisture just continuing. We're talking about nearly 1,500 miles of rain, clouds, and moisture, and it's all trucking over central Florida. So for us tonight, we're going to keep the clouds around. Gradually, we'll notice those rain chances coming on down around midnight or so. We'll be done and over with as temperatures drop off into the 70s. Here's future cast. 8 o'clock tonight, kind of just pockets of rainfall around. By 10 o'clock, watching a few little waves of activity. The majority of the stuff, though, on this brand new model run looks to stay just off of our coast. There's the remnants of Erica kind of moving through South Florida tomorrow, but it aids in providing us locally heavy downpours. High temperatures, by the way, once again in the upper range of the 80s. By lunchtime, we're good for tomorrow, but by about 4 o'clock, already getting the bubble up of activity. Brand new tropical storm, Fred. Not very often you get a tropical storm. Uh, this close to Africa. This thing really developed quickly. Hurricane advisories posted for the Cape Verde Islands. The good news, while it is expected to become a hurricane, it's also expected to degenerate back to a depression and an open wave. This will remain a fish storm and stay out to sea, not bothering us. A wet day for your Monday. Then it looks like as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, things getting back to normal. If you're wanting to head to the beach tomorrow, still very rough. Seas running four to six feet.